it's Allie here from alliesblog.ca so I have a new nail art design for you today so for this nail design you're gonna need a plastic bag or some kind of like plastic sheet or you can even use like an uber mat or any other silicone mat to do this so basically what we're gonna be doing is a dry water marble so you're just gonna be painting the plastic bag um, with all the different nail polishes that you use. So I am just going to be using uh, a purple, a pink, and uh, this blue here by Sally Hansen. And I might just throw in some white here as well. So you can use any colors you want. I just decided to use these colors for this design. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so you're going to take your first color and I am just going to paint a line across. I'm going to make this pretty big um, so that I don't have to do it more than once. So you want it kind of thick. And then you're going to take your next color and paint another line. And your next one. And we're going to take one more. I'm going to use some white. And that's okay if it's present. So you're just going to keep doing this. So I'm going to do another set of blue, pink, and purple in the same row. And I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i be right back. Alright, so I finished um, another set of each line. Um, you can do more if you want. I think this will probably be good enough to cover all my nails. So I think this should be good. So next I'm going to just be taking um, a pin here. Because so I like to use diff um, products that you have at home um, for nail art for beginners. So you don't have to get any products or anything like that. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your pin and you're just going to draw in your lines and kind of swirl it up. So you can do whatever you want. You can do like swirls like this or you can do like a line like that. Um, I like to do a bunch of different things. So I'm liking the way the swirls are looking though. So just kind of whatever you want to look. Like it's supposed to be marbleized. So it's supposed to look like water marble nails. So I think I'm going to gonna swirl them in go back and forth a little bit more yeah you just do whatever you think looks cool and try and get all of the colors kind of like get the blue into more closer to the pink and stuff like that Once you get hollow enough, um, enough, you can go ahead and leave it to dry. I like to leave it to dry overnight. Um, probably will take a couple hours just to get it to completely dry because you want it to be uh, a complete like dry nail polish so you can just like peel it off and then cut it onto your nails after. So I will be back in a couple of hours and I will show you what it's like when it's dry. So I'll see you later. Alright, so now um, my water marble is dry. I just wanted to mention that I did add a clear coat over top just to make it um, even easier to pull, peel off because sometimes if you miss a little spot, it kind of peels off in pieces. So I just added um, this clear coat over top of all of the water marble. So now what you do next is you're going to peel off um, the nail polish. And if you're lucky, it will come off in one big strip. Which is kind of why I added the clear coat. Alright, so it did. So that is pretty cool, huh? So now what you're going to do is you're going to cut them into um, shapes of your nail. So I am going to start 
Um, I think I'm going to cut it in half. I kind of want all of the different colors. So, so I'm just going to be cutting them like into little squares. I'm going to try and do them um, pretty close to the shape of my nail so there's less cleanup for later. My nails are pretty short right now, so I don't need as long of pieces. So yeah, so keep cutting those um, little pieces, and I will be right back once I'm done cutting them all. Alright, so I finished cutting up um, all the five pieces for my nails. So next we're going to do is you're going to take um, a clear coat here. I'm just using Wet n Wilds, and this one is clear nail polish protector um, and then you're gonna need a cleanup brush so I'm just using this one here from the born pretty store and just some acetone so first off I'm gonna go ahead and paint my nail with the clear polish you can also do white as your base as well um, for today I'm just gonna do the clear so I'm just gonna paint that there and then you're going to take your piece and you're going to stick it onto your nail. Just kind of press it down. And then this is where you're going to take your cleanup brush. So if you make the pieces smaller, um, it'll be less to clean up later. And then you're just going to go around the edges. You can see that it's starting to come off. So then for the top, I'm just going to kind of lightly press it so then the acetone gets on there. And then the pieces just kind of come off. And then you just clean up the excess. Alright, so that is one way to do it with um, using like the squares. So another thing that you could do is for the next nail, um, I think I was using this one. You can also, so you kind of measure it to the shape of your nail. So I think I'm going to do the pink on the bottom. And then you can cut it more of a curve, so then it's easier to actually um, apply it to your nail. So just try and do it closest to your nail as you can, so that's pretty good, I think. And then, again, you're going to go ahead and apply the clear coat here. And then you're going to take your nail piece. So I kind of bent it a little bit so I know that it's going to curve to my shape of my nail. And then press it on again. This one is really long for my nail. <laughs> and then again, you're going to take your cleanup brush and do the same thing. So this is the easier way of doing it because you already have pretty much the shape if you can gauge it close enough to your nail. And then the top, so this one I kind of put it more top right, and so I just did it. You can also check this because it's like really long. Oh, 
I'm just going to cut this little piece right here. So yeah, you're going to just keep getting the top off there. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my nails and I'll be right back. Alright, so I finished applying um, all of the decals. So now I'm just going to add a glitter uh, top coat. So this is Wet n Wild's uh, Kaleidoscope. Uh, I just always like adding glitter. So I'm just going to do a light coat of this one. So I'm not going to do too much. Alright, so now I'm just going to add my top coat. So I haven't added a top coat yet. Um, all I did was apply the decals. So you just want to seal it in with a top coat. So I'm just going to use that same Wet n Wild for now. And I'll probably add And there you are. So that is the finished water marble. So that is an easier way to do um, a regular water marble. I guess it's not technically a water marble, but it's it looks the same to me. It's like a great way to do it and it's much faster and less cleanup and it's easier. So I hope you liked today's um, nail art for beginners. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!